Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Your boy Troyman Two Hundred One back with another video, video for you guys today. And today we are doing another movie review. Uh, just a couple days ago, I went to see uh, Doctor Doolittle the uh, the movie, um, and I gotta say it was really impressive. I, I was really impressed with it. I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, I mean, I guess it was based off some sort of book or something, but I mean, it was just an a great movie. Um, so it starts out um by telling the story of Doolittle, um, Doctor Doolittle, and how he had the um ability to actually talk to the animals, um, which I thought was pretty cool. And it shows how he falls in love, um, and unfortunately, the love of his life um goes on to sit adventure um and unfortunately gets uh shipwrecked and uh she was actually looking for something which comes into play in this movie what and is important um well then years passed and uh do a little like shuts himself out from everybody um well then we find this boy, um, I forget his name, I completely forget his name, but, um, well, he kills this squirrel, and he feels a lot of sympathy for it, which is, uh, very important. Um, so he brings the squirrel to do, uh, Doolittle Manor, um, which is, a uh, Dr. Doolittle's house, um, he gets caught in a rope, and then Dr. Doodle is like freaking out. Oh no, it's a human ad. <laughs> and then uh, the the parrots, um, which is a very key, key parts of the story. Um, let's, um, um, you know, encourages him to let the boy in. And meanwhile, uh, Lady Rose, which is the queen's daughter in England, uh, shows up um, to inform Dr. Doolittle that the queen is very uh, sick. Um, by the way, the squirrel does get taken care of, and the squirrel is named Kevin. Yeah, all the animals have names, but I just don't remember all of them. I think it was like, yeah, Polly the Parrot, and yeah, I, I just don't remember. Um, well, Dr. Doolittle decides to take... Um, um, decides to take the boy to England with him uh, to help the queen. And uh, obviously, Dr. Doolittle brings animals with him. Um, and they find out that they have to find this um, Eden fruit, um, which they have to take a, a journey towards. Um, well, these two guys, um, this lord and this other guy, want to stop him from doing so. Um... So the 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 main bag so the Lord assigns his uh his partner, um which is the other bad guy, to take the Britannica to go attack um Dr. Doolittle's ship. Well, um that does not go well because obviously he gets outwitted. Um very much so. Oh by the way, the dog um is left in charge to look after the queen. So, yeah. Well, um, Dr. Julio comes upon this um, island, which, uh, well, they kind of, like, uh, are not too happy about what happened to Emily, which is Dr. Julio's uh, wife. Um, and the island leader captures Dr. Doolittle and brings him to this jail cell, where he runs into this tiger, um, which is, which the tiger is not very fond of him at all. Um, and the tiger tries to attack him. Well, uh, the boy and the animals come to his rescue, and, uh, Dr. Doodle is like, I feel her loss too, like, I, I know how you feel, and I later, you know, um, you know, has sympathy and by the way, the, the whole point they were on the island was to get Emily's journal. Um, yeah, 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 Emily's journal. 
to help them find the fruit. Well, unfortunately, the bad guy shows up again, and he takes uh, the journal to set off towards the eaten fruit. Well, Dr. Doolittle and animals decide, I mean, it doesn't look good, so they start to Dr. Doolittle is like, you know what? And the island leader actually gives them a boat to set off to go get the fruit uh, to save the queen. Um, well, the bad guy and his men are attacked by this dragon, and then Dr. Doolittle sees that something is very wrong, and uh, Dr. Doolittle um, and the animals uh, help save um, um, helped save the dragon by taking something out that was making the dragon very angry, and the dragon lets them have the fruit, um, so Dr. Doolittle voyages back to England, um, the bad guy and his men try to stop him, but doesn't work, um, and it finds out that the Lord and the bad guy um, were conspiring to make, to let the queen die and the Lord would become a uh, queen. I mean, it would, would become a king. So they wanted the queen to die. Um, so that's why they were trying to stop Dr. Doolittle. Well, all in all, the queen, um, has them arrested because obviously what they did was very, obviously what they did was totally not cool. Um, <laughs> that's where pride can get you in the dungeon. <laughs> so yeah. So some of the main animals that played a major role what were the parrots, the dog, um, the ape, or the gorilla, I should say. Um, so, yeah. All in all, this was a really great movie. There was a lot of funny moments. There was a lot of good action. And Robert Downey Jr. did a really fantastic job playing the role of Dr. Doolittle. Uh, Tom Holland played the dog. Um, Selena Gomez played somebody. And it turns out that Antonio Brand Banderas, which which is the actor who played Puss in Boots, for those of you that don't, don't know. He played the monkey and the island leader. So everybody did a really good job playing their role. And ultimately, the boy really touched uh, Dr. Doolittle to bring him back to... Um, I mean, to, to reopen the manor. And yeah, the boy really played a major role. And, and the animals, too. Um, so yeah. So Dr. Doolittle ultimately... I give this movie a 9 out of 10. Obviously, it was a really good movie, as I just said. So, yeah. Well, anyways, you guys, this is going to wrap this video for you guys today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out, and have a good rest of your day.